Hey everyone, Tech Tips 92 here again, and I'm just coming at you with another quick video. Um, as you can see, it's very late at night, four in the morning right now. Um, but uh, I had an interesting day. Uh, went to the doctors, did some blood tests. Uh, didn't feel the greatest after that, and uh, got a new phone today. Picked up the iPhone 4, the uh, white version. Very happy with it. Now, anyway, want to make a quick video here about using a program called Hamachi. Hamachi, right here. I'm gonna go ahead and open that. And uh, what you can use Hamachi for, at least what I find it's very useful for, um, is for playing LAN games with your friends even if they're not on the same network as you. Now you know a lot of games such as, uh, for example, a good, a common example is let's say Left 4 Dead. Um, you can play, uh, you can play LAN with, uh, with people on your, on your own network. Um, and uh, the benefits of that is you don't actually, you could, you could use a downloaded version of Left 4 Dead, let's say, and. Um, and play that with your friends without having to actually pay to play online with uh, with random people. Um, now, for uh, people who just want to play with friends or you know play co-op in different games like, uh, for example, uh, Portal 2 uh, or any game like that, this is very good. So uh, enough rambling. I'm going to uh, show you quickly how to create a new network in Hamachi. So first of all, I already showed you opening Hamachi here. I will include a download link for the program in the description box below the video. Um, but very quickly. Once you open Hamachi, you'll see something that looks like this. Now, I do have to apologize if my computer lags a little bit at any point in this video. I am actually encoding a different video at the moment down here. And uh, hopefully that doesn't uh, disrupt this video too much. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a test network. So I'm going to call it tech, or tech test network 1. I'm going to make the password password. Great. As you can see here, right away, network pops up. Now you can see there's nobody in the network right now, aside from myself. As you can see right there, type owner, myself, um, and zero members and zero members online, obviously. Um, now what you're going to want to do with this, uh, actually, is you're going to want to give this information to your friends. So for example, uh, if I wanted one of my friends to play a LAN game with me, um, I would uh, just simply give them the network ID and give them the password. And you can actually, I can actually show you this right now. If you go to a network and you go to join an existing network, uh, you just type in the network ID and the password. Now I don't think that uh, it'll let me join my own network, but tech test network one and the password was password. Join, see what happens. Yep, so you can't join your own network. But anyway, you get the gist of how that works. Um, once you've done that, in order to play LAN, you're going to want to go to Control Panel. Um, now, I find that uh, this isn't always necessary, but uh, sometimes you're. Uh, you're, you're it, it, will, it will kind of bug out on you if you don't do this. If you don't do this like this, um, you can see here that uh, I have gone to network and uh, network and internet settings and gone to gone ahead to my network connections in my control panel. Uh, within that, you can see that I have my local area connection, my wireless network two, and my wireless network connection, as well as my uh, Hamachi network here. It's very important that Hamachi be the first and primary network interface card here. Uh, the reason being is because you want your uh, your games and such, and your computer to think that you're actually connecting to Hamachi first uh, as a priority over your uh, over your uh, your D your uh, wireless network connection. So you need to need to make sure that that's uh, that's first right there. Uh, with that, you also, I believe, can uh, you can go ahead and here and you can see that uh, just to make sure that your connection is established. So you're going to want to check that you're actually receiving and sending packets, which uh, which we are. That's good. Uh, again, you're going to want to make sure that you uh, make sure you give your friends the correct information and make sure also that they uh, make sure that they prioritize their network connections. Uh, it's not so not, not as important in Windows 7, I find, but uh, especially if you're running Windows XP, uh, very important. So that's uh, that's pretty much it. Very simple program, not uh, too much fuss that you have to deal with. Um, so that's about it. Thanks a lot. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. hope this helped you a lot. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time.